So we're here at the IFA 2014, and uh, here with Cambrios. So you're the CEO, right? Yes, my name is John Lamontrek. I'm CEO of Cambrios. And uh, you know what we do is we make a silver nanowire product to enable a whole new series of uh, touch panels that require a transparent conductor. So our material is this ink. Uh, we ship this to our customers who can coat it on virtually any substrate, in particular plastic substrates using roll-to-roll -roll coating techniques, which is much more cost effective than uh, today's very complex vapor processes in a vacuum. This can be done simply on very, very flexible and, and uh, fragile substrates rather than thick, heavy glass that most touch sensors are made out of today. So today you're talking about some uh some some applications like uh, you're talking about flexible what are that, you talking about that's right so for instance um, this is a touch sensor that could be used in an automobile and you can see it's very flexible could be wrapped around the dashboard could be placed in an area so rather than that big square flat thing that you have in the middle of your car this can be much more molded within the dashboard and provide a beautiful seamless experience with uh, your nice car interiors so uh, your technology makes flexible possible that's right absolutely um, so with our uh, material, we can go on flexible substrates, and because these tiny nanowires of silver are very, very flexible, uh, when you flex the display, they don't break. They stay conductive, but they're so small, they're invisible to the eye. That's why we can go on flexible substrates that still work, whereas today's touch panels on glass or with this very uh, crystal ITO, indium tin oxide, would crack. So there's no way to make a flexible touch sensor unless you use material like Cambrios's Clearome silver nanowires. And uh, flexible is most likely going to be OLED and e-ink or can it be LCD also? Uh, well, mostly OLED and e-ink type displays. Um, those are the, the, the technologies that are really compatible with that on the display side. And in fact, that's one of the reasons uh, that many, many new large consumer electronics companies uh, with their new products, people like Samsung, LG, uh, are so interested in our material uh, and in some cases have even invested in Cambrios. So, uh, so there's a whole bunch of new form factors coming and uh, what are you showing on, on this? Well, so um, uh, this is also very, very important um, in terms of enabling technology that Cambrios has. This is a large single layer sensor. So Cambrios has had a lot of experience and a lot of success in the large area touch market, a market that requires very high conductivity for those large touch screens. Well, that same kind of conductivity is required for this kind of sensor. This is a true single layer sensor, uh, a sensor rather than made of two layers, one for X and one for Y, this sensor is made in just one layer. And so it embeds lines of conductors inside the display. So uh, does it show here how it works? Exactly. So you see here a traditional sensor uh, made of two layers with two substrates glue to put them together. It's very thick, very, very expensive. In a single layer design, you just you cut all of that material in half. But the challenge is that you must embed the, every line of conductor inside the display. That requires a lot of conductivity, and that's exactly the kind of conductivity that our silver nanowires can provide on film. ITO and other transparent conductive technologies just don't have the conductivity to enable this kind of sensor. So it's about thin, low cost, and high performance. Exactly. So it's, uh, what is it, thinner phones, thinner tablets, what is it? Thinner be? phones, lighter phones, and one of the advantages is because all the conductivity is, in, is embedded inside the display itself, you can do this with no bezel. So the display and the touch can go from edge to edge with absolutely nothing on the edge of the display. So how soon can we see uh, tons of be uh, bezel-less devices on the market? Sure thing. Well, our, uh, one of our key partners, TPK, who we have a joint venture with in Xiamen, is ramping their production capacity to make 2 million screens a month. So uh, that's in production now. They're ramping that as we speak. And um, this will really enable the market with this single layer design using Cambrios' Clearome silver nanowires. TPK is a pretty big uh, company. They are the number one manufacturer of touch panels. Uh, they've been a tremendous partner of ours and we really enjoy the manufacturing strength that they have to push this into the market in all kinds of different devices. So before there was three layer, two layer, and this is one layer, is that what it is or what? That, exactly, just one single layer. So you can imagine how much more cost effective that is. Not only 
you know, are our silver nanowires less expensive than the current technology, but now we've gotten rid of an entire layer of substrate, a entire layer of glue. It is more than half the cost, uh, or I should say less than half the cost of current touch sensors. Less than half the cost and it enables uh, for example, there was this really cool news I saw with the Sharp, they had very little bezel, so it enables stuff like that where there's barely any bezel at all. Exactly. Barely any bezel, and you can imagine combining that single layer touch sensor with no bezel, plus our ability to go on flexible substrates means you could wrap the touch around the edge of devices, you could make a truly flexible device. All of the things, these things are possible because of Clearome Inc. <coughs> Sorry. You can make it more durable. Hmm? Uh, people could make it less breakable also? Exactly. Um, because we don't use any glass, if you drop these sensors, if you drop your phone, now not only is it uh, flexible, but it's much more durable, unbreakable. Uh, again, one of the strong advantages of our material. So when you say that TPK makes two million per, per are going to make two million per year, uh, per month, sorry, uh, what kind of feature could that be? It could be any of these things that you just said. Exactly. Single layer, double layer, uh, flexible, rigid, uh, again, um, it's all very cost-effective, um, very easy to customize. Our material can be adapted to a wide variety of uses. And uh, here you have some examples of products already in the market? That's correct. We've had quite a bit of success already in tablets, e-readers, in large area devices, uh, a great partnership with LG, also Lenovo, uh, many different devices uh, in terms of all-in-ones and monitors, um, and then even industrial designs. Uh, things like industrial monitors, industrial touch, showing the durability of our material. And of course, phones, from very high-end phones, uh, for instance, from NEC, all the way down to the more cost-effective part of the market, selling in Indonesia, China, and other parts of Asia. All right, so uh, uh, ramping up with the uh, uh, volumes. Absolutely, so uh, we're ramping up. We, we have internal capacity in our factory to make enough ink to cover over 15 million square meters of material per year. So plenty of capacity to cover um, all of the phone market, tablet market, those kinds of things. So you could be in, in the f all of them in the future. Absolutely, that's our goal, is to really completely replace the, the current transparent conductors with our new material. And you're also starting in new markets like this one. That's right. Now that we've had quite a bit of success in touch, there are many other markets that require transparent conductors and, in fact, can have new features enabled by clear ohm uh, silver nanowires. So, for instance, this is a, an organic photovoltaic cell. Uh, this will generate electricity very efficiently, even in low light conditions. And as you can see, it can be made completely transparent. So the advantage here now is that you can Put this, for instance, on the sunroof of your car to help power the electronics, but still enjoy the sunlight coming through the top. You can imagine putting it on windows of buildings. So rather than just on the, on the tops of the buildings, now you can imagine covering an entire skyscraper with photovoltaic cells. These are the kinds of things that get enabled with Cambriosis Clearome technology. And it gets enabled. Uh, how about this uh, greenish color? How much of that do you need for this technology to be there? Uh, Sure. Is there different levels of that? Absolutely. So this is just a prototype. Um, a lot of that color is due to the, the photovoltaic cell itself. Because of our material, though, typically one of the layers would be opaque. You couldn't see through it. But because of our material being so high conductivity, both of the transparent conductors, both on the top and the bottom, can be made clear. And as a result, you can get this kind of a new photovoltaic cell. So there's going to be a whole bunch of Cambria skyscrapers in the future. <laughs> Certainly that's our hope, uh, you know, covering consumer electronics de devices, covering uh, solar cells, all these things, uh, you know, the world of transparent conductors is huge and we are helping to enable new technologies and new growth in those markets. And this could perhaps be flexible and rollable in front of the, the, the screen or Absolutely. in front so, of the, uh, what do you call it, the window? Yes, and so you can imagine now, instead of just big square flat solar cells, you could have kiosks wrapped in this. Uh, you could pull it down like a window shade. Um, you know, when it's during the day, you can pull it down and absorb the energy. At night, you can roll it back up. Um, many, many different applications, again, because of flexibility, because of how thin it can be, and because of the transparency. So uh, Dubai and all these countries, a lot of sun, they definitely need to convert all their skyscrapers to this. <laughs> Absolutely.